Welcome to Darwan. Congratulations to this decision to be a part of Darwan. My name is Oliver and I show you today how to register on Darwan. So first of all, you have a reflink. This reflink, what you get from the person who invited you or anyone who sent you this registration, you need to copy it and paste it to the browser. So in my case, and I recommend it also to you, use on the laptop the Google Chrome browser. If you are on the mobile phone or Android or iPhone, of course, you can also make the registrations, but I explain to you in a little video what you need to pay attention for. So first of all, you need to put the registration link in your browser and then you come on this website here and this is the marketing website. Here you click on register and you come to a follow-up site. So still here, the ref link, the ref link number, it must be shown and make sure of course that you are on the right side, app.dar1.ai. So we have here three steps. First step is, if you not have a MetaMask wallet or any EVM wallet, so I recommend to you, use MetaMask. MetaMask, you can download it here in the um, Google Chrome browser, for example, and I'll show you how. This is the first step. If you have already a MetaMask wallet, of course, you can directly go to step two and skip this part. So, then after you have downloaded and installed the MetaMask, you need this ref link again and you register and the one and complete the KYC. Then we have, of course, the next steps, buy and deposit USDT on the MetaMask and convert them to the Apertum blockchain, what we are using, and you can buy a membership. But now we just focus on the first two steps and let's start with download and install the MetaMask who the people who have not yet the MetaMask wallet. So you just go on download and it comes automatically to the website, the original website metamask.ai. On the side I go to view MetaMask on web. And I need to download MetaMask. So I add it to the Chrome extension and I access extension here in the sidebar. You will hear soon a little fox head like here. And you can also, of course, connect it directly to your Google site, but this is not necessary. As soon as you have added the extension to your Google Chrome, you can pin it here. And also it's very important that you put to read and change on all sizes. This is automatically already set, but just in case that you know, maybe you have also already another wallet in your Chrome browser, you need to be aware that this must be turned on. And you see here now the fox. Okay, so now you need to create a new wallet. You go on create a new wallet and put this little checkbox and agree with that. And now you set a password. So you set the password just for here. This is for the computer here, the password, um, what you're choosing when you want to open here the MetaMask. So MetaMask. Choose of course your own password, a much better one than this, but just a demonstration. And now it's very, very important, the recovery keys, the secret keys, the passphrases so-called. 
This is very important that you write them down on a paper. Better not make a screenshot or store it online on your phone or somewhere. Always is it good that you put it on the paper and write them down and put it in a secure place. And please look that nobody is watching you how you uh, write these words down. Because who have these keys owns your wallet. So very simple sentence is not your keys not your coins just remember that you need to secure your wallet okay this is necessary really because we are working here in a web tree we are decentralized you cannot for for later on when we register on da one you not register with your email and a password and if if uh, you think uh, when you forget your password you can recover it with i forgot password like you know it from web 2 it's not possible here. Your wallet is your entry to your site. This is your business. And this is very important that you secure this. So I go and secure my wallet and there are 12 words. These 12 words you need to write down yeah, in the same direction which is written here. One, two, three, four, until 12. Exactly how it is shown here. Please not make a screenshot, not make a photo. Um, not, yeah, let someone see this. Put it on a piece of paper and put it in a safe place. Maybe you make a copy of this and put it in a safe. So take care of that. When you lose your phone, when, you, when something happened with your laptop, you need to recover it. Okay, this is very important. So I have written down it on a piece of paper and now you need to just uh, confirm it is here lag here it is sound and here it is infant so be very very sure that all words are matching with what you've written down okay even one mistake can cost you a lot of money and even your account so be aware of that take care of this and nobody will ask for this secret recovery phrases if someone asks for it, yes, uh, someone say, for example, in Telegram, I'm the support of DAO one or whatever, this is most likely a scam. Or when you go on Google and uh, there are fake sites already and they want that you put the secret keys on any site, don't do this. This is always someone who wants to steal your money, to steal your assets or whatever you have on the wallet. So I confirm it. Congratulations. Everything is done. All is set. The first step here is done to create a MetaMask account. So this MetaMask account you can also open here. And we starting from here on our first. This was the first step. Now, after all of this, we going back to the first site, and this was with the ref link register now. The first step is done. Now we come into the stack, second step here, register and complete KYC. So what you need for that? First of all, of course, the MetaMask wallet. Secondly, you need ID. You need your ID and this can be a passport. This can be, um, of course, also your ID in which country, your national ID. And this is a selfie. So you need a good selfie with the ID in your hand that this year the ID is very good readable, very good quality, not blurring or something like that. This must be a very good photo. Um, and also you need a photo from the front of your ID and also from the back side. So with this we can work when you have it. Either you, you make it on your phone and you, you, are, you are on your phone, for example, and make this process to your phone, or you make it through the computer, then send please the photos to your laptop. 
So now we go to register. We starting from here. We already have created the MetaMask. And yeah, I have already MetaMask. You can also use another wallet, but we recommend to you use this MetaMask. And this is how you connect with this site. This is your login. This is your your wallet is your digital identity here in this case. So I approve it. And now we come to the steps. So you need to put your name, 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 so your country, where are you, uh, where is your where, you, where are your identity is, um, is made and the city, for example, then the address, whatever you are, wherever you are living, the zip code, and of course you continue. So the birth date, you just put here inside. And then your phone number. And now we're coming to the step where you put a selfie with the ID, where you hold your passport or your identity card in your hand. So it is here, the ID selfie. And the front of the ID, if you have just a passport, you can put the same photo here in the back and the front. And of course, the expiry date. Yeah, this must be then, you need to see it, where is it on your ID, the expiry date, and then you Put it here. So when you filled everything, we come into the next step, and this is sign in in your wallet. So the most of the people on Android, especially on Android, need to put the standard browser what they're using to the MetaMask. So for this, I will show you a little sequence here that you need to put the standard browser not to your Google Chrome. You need to put it in the MetaMask. So the MetaMask must on your Android phone, your standard browser. Because we have problem that in Android phone, the browser, when you are in MetaMask starting, automatically switch to the standard browser, what you have choose. And in most cases, this is a Google Chrome. Okay, done. You have switched the standard browser to the um, MetaMask if you are using an Android phone. And then you need to sign in in your wallet. So you sign your wallet to DAO one and the signature is done. And then you click just on create KYC. And now it's submitting the KYC and it's successfully sent. Now, of course, you can log in with your wallet, your MetaMask wallet. And now you see that the step number three here, pending approval, okay? So the 
KYC goes very fast. After some minutes, you can come back and when this is approved here, you can continue. So these are the most steps. What's next, of course, you can deposit US dollar on Binance chain or on Ethereum chain on the MetaMask and then you convert the USDT to a bridge function to wrap USDT and then you can buy membership. So it sounds a little bit complicated, but it's very easy when I show you this, how the steps going through. So we waiting, depend the approval. I hope this video helped you to get here to the steps and let's go to the next step in the next video. You're Oliver.